Hello out there in fucking TV land. It's uh, Eric Vaughn. We're going to be doing a fun little talk about today. We're going to have a little uh, discussion here, right? You know, that's what we do. This is about the book Black Metal, The Evolution by Dale Patterson. I'm going to say I'm happily shocked by this one. Um, usually I don't like black metal books anymore. I don't like any written thing on the topic. I'm not a huge fan of webzines. I'm not. I'm an old guy. I'm not out looking for new bands. I'm not out trying to shake, you know, shake up my tree about what I'm into. But this book, I got it for Christmas. It was a surprise gift. Didn't much look at it, you know, because I'm going to mention one thing. It was a Pharaoh House book. I, we all know what happened with the last Feral House book. And while in the, the era it was released, it was somewhat of an exciting document because we had literally almost nothing else except a spin article to glean information from. I didn't know if I really wanted to go down that well again. Um, considering the recent release of that shitty movie and all sorts of other things, I didn't really think that I wanted to invest myself in another product by Feral House involving black metal again, but I'm glad that I got laid up with a surgery and I did because here we have one of the best documents of the genre I've ever read. It's a densely packed, look at, look at how thick this thing. And if you look at it, you'll, you'll see a lot of the familiar typeface and structuring of the last Feral House product on black metal, but the information is vastly different. This covers not only the true genesis of where black metal started with many more hints than just the obligatory hints to death metal and black metal that exist in the other one before dumping itself into the Norwegian drama and then God knows what else followed in that book. This is a document to black metal for black metal by black metal, if you will. I mean, this is packed with not like every kind of information in the world and bands that you, I didn't know existed and now checked out, which I normally don't do as, as I said, I'm an old fuck. I don't check out new things. I just, but this book managed to describe the lineage of black metal in a way that when it talked about its splinter works afterwards, I was actually fairly interested in some things because they all took the time to walk us through every step. So to describe the book itself, Densely written, exhaustively researched, and he has a great candor in his writing. I really like the way he writes. That being said, be prepared to just, this is not a soup. This is a, this is a thick ass stew, and it's going to take you several reads to get all the details that you can out of it. And that's a good thing, and I'm telling you it's a good thing, but if you're looking for the tabloid reading of the previous Feral House book, you're, you're not going to get it. This is, it's a, it's a good read. It's not a hard read, but it's a detailed read. You need to be ready to take in as much information as you can. And I mean, I obviously, I've been around this for about 20 years. I know the story. Black metal has been a huge part of my life. So the initial bands, I like the way you wrote about them. It gave me a good nostalgia kick to think about Hellhammer and and all of these other smaller bands that built up to the black metal crescendo. Um, he handles the Norwegian situation beautifully and that he does not focus on the drama that became the, the silly movie. It does not focus on the drama that made the last book unreadable in retrospect. I mean, I have to say the last book was important for me when I was younger because we had nothing else to to read at the time the the internet was sparse with information um the original book was it, it was a calling card for a time but it's aged terribly i mean i'm not interested in reading 98 pages of that nonsense again um on the other hand this i'm gonna give two or three more reads on my off time because once it hits norway it not only explains the importance of mayhem but it also gets into how the drama affected the music. Not just that, oh my God, there's this drama. Let's try to bring that back out of the well one more fucking time and, and sell, sell, sell. This really covers on how certain events shaped future musical events and how this shaped how bands went forward going from that point. I think Dale handled that with a, a excellent, excellent writing. 
On the other hand, the one thing I will say is that the future part of this book, the part that took, because of course, this is structured as I think it should have been. You have the initial part of what makes black metal, you know, the 80s, the the proto metal into the 80s, you know, your venoms, your batteries, yada, yada. It does center itself in the Norwegian time because that is, we can't ignore the amazing music that came out of that. And despite whatever you think of the actions taken, you know, that don't particularly happen anymore, the music itself has always stood. The reason that those actions are remembered today is because the music itself and all its acidity and venom lived up. It was a soundtrack to these events that made the events seem bigger and not vice versa, at least in my opinion. If the music had not been valid, had the music not has been as powerful as people say, I don't think these events would have lived in history. The combination of the music and the actions tells that story. If, the, if people had just done these things and the music had been a bunch of shit, we wouldn't be talking about it today. It'd be a cursory point of metal history. The fact is, De Mysterious Don Satan is still one of the best records of all time. Everything by Dark Throne, all of it. I mean, even the other unmentionable band. I mean, whether you, whether you agree with the politics or not, the music is stunning. So there is where it is. The book centers in Norway because that is a pivotal point in time that all of us, whether we want to or not, owe a lot to. But the future half of the book, uh, not half, I'd say third, sorry, math, I'm talking about music here. I'm a musician. I'm not a mathematician, you know, I mean, I'm lucky it can go one, two, three, four. But going into the, the latter third of the book is where I really enjoyed it because as an old fart who doesn't like new things and uh, tends to be pretty persnickety about fucking new bands and, oh, check out this cool thing. I'm like, yeah, no. Not interested. The way he wrote about the history continued into that third part. He didn't just jump off Norway into, oh, hey, brave new world of black metal. He did trace the steps that led from that era to what's happening now. And I took the time to check out some of these bands I'd never heard of. I took the time to dig in and really listen to some new stuff. And I was pleasantly surprised. I mean, the stuff I didn't like. It was written in a way that I kind of knew I wouldn't, so I gave it a listen anyway, and I liked it. You know, I liked the fact that the book set me up to like the things I would like and kind of be like, eh, about the things I wasn't, but I checked it out anyway. He wrote about it so well. Um, so yeah, going back to this, didn't think I'd be doing another book review, but I'm super surprised at how good this is and how to the point about the music it is. We needed a book like this. Uh, thank you, Pharaoh House, for, you know, I'm not asking, I don't ask anyone to apologize for what's done because you release a legendary book. It will do as it does. But in a way, this is a wonderful way of saying, hey, let's set the record straight about the actual music of black metal, which I've dedicated a ton of my life to. I, if you see it on Amazon at a bookstore, I 10 out of 10 fucking buy it. I mean, you may disagree with some points in the book. You may say, ah, I don't like this. I don't like that. But on a whole, the book is a compelling read. Whether you agree with it or not, it is worth your time. So buy it. Dale Patterson. He's got some other works too. I have not read them. As I said, I'm lazy and I'm old. I will get to them when I get to them because I got my own records to make and my own books I'm working on. So, you know, time takes time. Uh, but still, Dale Patterson, uh, two thumbs up. Liked it. Till next time. You know, keep up the bad work and uh, don't die.